गुड मॉर्निंग सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम संगमेश्वर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सीबीएसई एज वेल एज स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटक सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज देयर एक्चुअली इन दिस चैप्टर सो एक्चुअली देयर आर टू चैप्टर्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री अनदर वन इज कॉल्ड एज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इफ यू आर नोइंग द ब्रीथिंग information about this trigonometry you are going to answer easily in the application of trigonometry chapter so my question arises why to study this trigonometry so this trigonometry is used to find the high distances means uh, maximum distances maximum distances means uh, so distance between the moon and earth distances between the moon and sun distances between the earth and moon so like this sir uh, so high distances will be measured by using the trigonometry so you can find the depth of the ocean also you can find the height of the mountain also by using this only application of the trigonometry so let us start with the chapter which is called as trigonometry this trigonometry is derived from the greek words so which is made up made up of two words So which is called as so one word is trigon, another word is metro. So trigon means a triangle and metro means a measurement. Here this trigon is also made up of two words. One is tri, another one is gon. Tri means three, gon means side. So in total this trigon means a three-sided closed figure which is called as trigonometry. And this metro means a measurement. So in this total chapter, basically we are going to study about the measurement of the triangles. So actually we are having the different type of triangles. In this chapter, we are going to discuss only about the right angle triangle. So right angle triangle means which is having the 90 degree. If I consider this angle as the theta, and this is 90 degree angle, this the side opposite to the 90 degree is always called as the hypotenuse. And if this is under consideration, this side will be always opposite, and the remaining side will be adjacent. Why it is adjacent? Because which is adjacent to the this angle, therefore it is adjacent side. So in this right angle triangle, we are having the three sides. One is hypotenuse, opposite to the 90 degree. Another one is adjacent, and the the side opposite to the angle, which is called as the opposite side. So my question arises. Sir, If I consider in this triangle, if I consider this angle as a theta, then opposite side will change. So here, this is the opposite now. Always the side opposite to the 90 degree is called as the hypotenuse, and the remaining side will be adjacent. So these are the three sides. So if I see the right angle triangle, one now that is mentioned will come to the mind of who is a Pythagoras. So we are going later. So Pythagoras statement says that uh, so <coughs> hypotenuse square equals to sum of the square of the remaining two sides. So that we have learned in previous classes. Now, uh, so one more so important word we have seen in this chapter, which is called as trigonometric ratios. So which is called as trigonometric. Trigonometric ratios means uh, nothing but uh, ratio of uh, these sides. Ratio means we are always knowing that uh, so something will come in the numerator as well as something will come in the denominator. So numerator by denominator. So here by seeing these three sides only we are going to define uh, six trigonometric ratios. How they come? Very simple. So one uh, ratio is the uh, hypotenuse uh, sorry, opposite by hypotenuse. Another ratio is the uh, adjacent by hypotenuse. And the third ratio is the opposite by adjacent. Let me repeat again. First ratio is the opposite by hypotenuse. Second ratio is the adjacent, uh, adjacent by hypotenuse. And the third ratio is the opposite by adjacent. So let me write those three trigonometric uh, ratios first. So first ratio is opposite divided by hypotenuse. And the second ratio is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And the third ratio is opposite. Uh, Divided by 
as I said. So remaining three ratios will come exactly reciprocal of these three. So first ratio is opposite by hypotenuse, second ratio is adjacent by hypotenuse, third ratio is opposite by adjacent. Reciprocal of this means uh, exactly what the so which I am going to write it as hypotenuse divided by opposite. So next one is reciprocal of this which is can be written as hypotenuse divided by adjacent and the third ratio exactly hold of this which is can be written as adjacent divided by what opposite so this is one fourth one fifth one sixth one so these are the six trigonometric ratios we are going to study in uh, this chapter also so let me read it again so here we are going to see six ratios on this right angle triangle first ratio is opposite by hypotenuse second ratio is adjacent by hypotenuse third ratio is opposite by adjacent so which remaining three will be exactly reciprocal of these three so every time repeating reading will be difficult that's why before they have given by uh, kind of uh, many mathematicians have given some names for this uh, so for oh, for this they have found it as a sin theta sin theta which will be also written in short uh, which can be written also in short uh, as sin theta so next one is the cosine theta so cos theta third one is tangent theta tangent theta so in short tan theta so these are the three uh, uh, exact trigonometric ratios first one sin theta second one cos theta third one for, uh, tan theta sorry sin theta cos theta tan theta reciprocal of this cos theta will be cosec theta reciprocal of cos theta will be second theta and reciprocal of this tan theta will be cot theta so simple so in this class we have discussed about the six trigonometric ratios and this trigonometry introduction so let, uh, let me repeat all the things again in one minute trigonometry is made up of two words trigon and metron triangle means tri uh, trigon means triangle metron means measurement so which this the uh, in this chapter we are going to study about the this uh, right angle triangle. Right angle triangle means uh, this is 90 degree, opposite side with the hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. So exactly six uh, ratio of the sides will be origin here. So one is opposite by hypotenuse, adjacent by hypotenuse, opposite by adjacent. Reciprocal of these three will be <coughs> in this three trigonometric ratio we are going to see. Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta, cot theta. One, one, one.